Hi, I'm Steve from Oasis and we're still in John chapter 6. We looked yesterday at Jesus saying, I am the bread of life. And in today's verses, verses 43 to 71, he develops the image even more strongly in a way that shocks and revolts his listeners. Here's just one example. It's from verse 53. And Jesus said this, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. And as is usually the case, his listeners are thinking superficially and therefore they take him literally. They think he's advocating cannibalism. Furthermore, in the Old Testament, eating blood is strictly forgiven, forbidden. So they are incredulous and hostile. But Jesus is speaking in a spiritual sense. And there is so much depth and wonderful truth that Jesus is wanting to communicate in these closely woven phrases to those who are spiritually hungry. I want us to take two things from these verses and I want to explore very briefly God's initiative and our response. In respect to God's rescue plan for humanity and that includes you and me, from start to finish it is his powerful initiative. To misquote an old worship song, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing is down to us. We see God's initiative in these verses in phrases like these, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. No one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. This is God's amazing and irresistible grace that seeks us, draws us, rescues us, restores us, guarantees us eternal life and so much more. We bring nothing to the party except dirty, empty hands. And that moves us on to explore our response to God's initiative. And this is where we look very briefly at what it means to eat his flesh and drink his blood. It means to appropriate, to take hold of, to accept, to assimilate uh, Jesus' life and sacrificial death on our behalf is totally sufficient to make us right with God and bring us into an intimate relationship with him right now and for eternity. Our relationship with Jesus becomes the same as Jesus' relationship with his heavenly father. That it, that's what it means for us to abide in him and him in us. We can see our response in these verses in phrases like, come to me, believe, eat, drink. However, we need to understand that even our response is graciously awakened, enabled and energised by the Holy Spirit. It all comes from God, but we still need to take hold of these wonderful gifts by faith. And this is where I can often come unstuck. When someone gives us a present or cooks us a meal, we still need to make it our own by, by taking it, uh, unwrapping it or eating it, saying thank you, whatever. And, and this is what faith is. It's, it's not ignoring the gift or assuming it's automatic, it's taking hold of it, believing it's a gift for you and making it yours rather than like leaving the present unwrapped or the meal uneaten. That may seem humble, but it's idiotic and rude. Sadly, most of Jesus' hearers, including perhaps even most of his wider group of followers, took offence at what he said and left him pardon the pun, but they just couldn't stomach what he had 
to say. They opted instead for self-sufficiency and self-righteousness rather than feeding on him as the bread that had come down from heaven for their good. But the good news is that the 12 remained. When Jesus asked them, do you want to go away as well? Uh, Simon Peter, who sometimes spoke with his foot in his mouth, replied with these wonderful words. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Is that true for you? If not, please respond to God's initiative. If for you, you're finding it tough to follow him right now, maybe you're tempted to turn away from him. Remember Simon Peter's words. Where, where else can you go? Only Jesus can truly satisfy the longings of your heart. Today, let's rejoice in God's initiatives and feed and drink on Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day.